Cut to the chase, evidence-based. Pull up a chair, let's get this straight. Peptide buddy, he's your peptide buddy. Here is the much-awaited video that I've been in a way dreading to make, but I've been convinced by multiple of you that it's worth going into for the sake of education and hopefully entertainment, which therein lied my hesitation. I was convinced that this discussion would be a rather boring one, but by making this more of an intro to bioregulators video, rather than one going into all the details about all the peptides, which could take days, I think it's a reasonable place to start. So if you've done any of your own research, you'd notice that the topic of bioregulators or these Cavinson peptides, pretty darn popular. And we've talked about some of these peptides before, predominantly Epitalon and Cartilax. So as a quick pre-summary, if you will, we're going to take a short period here to review bioregulator peptides, and then we'll continue our discussion about individual bioregulators, all of which will be present on the Patreon, some of which will make their way onto the main channel. So thanks in advance for your time. Let's get started here on the basics. What the heck is a bioregulator peptide? A term oftentimes used synonymously with Cavinson peptides in reference to their pioneer, Vladimir Cavinson, a guy who has both an insane amount of research publications under his belt, as well as a Wikipedia page. He's a celebrity within this space who, unfortunately, a few months ago passed away. And if you go to cavinson.info, you can find the myriad of work he has completed from these aforementioned publications to all the patents he has created as well. So research on bioregulators started under Cavinson's career at the Kirov Medical Military Academy in Leningrad. And while there, he, along with another researcher, began to conduct research on these peptides. That's what researchers do. And as they described, I quote, It was revealed that cells produce low molecular weight compounds of a peptide nature, which provide the intercellular transfer of certain information encoded in the amino acid sequence and conformational modifications, thus regulating proliferation, differentiation, and intercellular interactions, end quote. As in, little compounds known as bioregulators or cytomedines were discovered and isolated in different tissue types thought to essentially normalize these tissues' functions. The first bioregulators were derived from the pineal gland, thymus, and hypothalamus. Is this starting to ring a bell yet? A polypeptide complex derived from the bovine pineal gland? You nailed it, epithalamin, whose discovery prompted the synthesizing of epitalon. And since the initial distinction of the three above-mentioned sites of derivation, peptide bioregulators were synthesized from diffuse cell and tissue types from the retina and lens to the placenta, liver, kidneys, parotid glands, and even thrombocytes, among many more. And they gained such interest because even though structurally they're little tiny peptides, their role as such was thought to be much more vast and intricate, thought to participate in not only protein synthesis, which is more expected given they are peptides, but also, and more interestingly so, in gene expression, hence why they are not described as peptides, but instead as peptide bioregulators. As quoted from a review in 2013, short peptides are able to interact with DNA regions and thus affect the genome condition and consequently the synthesis of certain proteins, including those that control the physiological functions of the organism. Pretty profound stuff. And because of their participation within genetic expression, essentially thought to restore health to cell types and organ systems, bioregulators became a core component of experimental peptide research, and as Dr. Cavinson and company exhibit, they've become pretty big proponents of their proposed anti-tumor and geroprotective effects. So here is the bioregulators for dummies video. Up next, we're going to talk about thymolin, which will be out shortly, so stay tuned, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Cut to the chase, evidence-based, pull up a chair, let's get this straight, peptide buddy. He's your peptide buddy Cut to the chase, evidence-based Pull up a chair, let's get this straight Peptide buddy